Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the RAM mount for uh, mounting my tablet in my side-by-side. -side. Uh, I've had a lot of friends recommend the RAM mount as a great solution for mounting everything from cameras to tablets and, and various things. So uh, I picked one up and we're going we're gonna to take a closer look at it and see how well it does. So. so looking closer at the RAM mount system, they use a very modular approach to their mounts. So you can mix and match different components to create a more personalized mount for specifically what your needs might be. They offer different bases. Here's a suction cup base. You know, this works great with smooth surfaces like windshields and, and things like that. But if you've got a porous surface kind of like this desktop, um, it's not going to work. But basically what it does is it's got a couple of little wings on it right here. And then as you rotate those wings, you can see it just sucks down, sucks out all the air. Um, and creates a really good dimple and a good bond to the surface in, in that it's attaching to. And then it's got a, a ball on top for the ball and socket joint. They've got a roll bar style mount. Um, again, ball and socket type thing. And basically this just attaches to a bar with a hose clamp. Um, this is a worm gear hose clamp and, it, and you, know, you just tighten that down and it holds it securely in place. And then obviously you can get different size hose clamps to attach to different size bars that you might be uh, clamping this to. They've got different length arms. So this is a dense, this one here is a dense plastic arm and it basically uses you know a wing nut to uh, create compression on the ball and socket joint to hold it firmly in place. This is a little bit longer arm and uh, this one's spring loaded so it's a little bit easier to put on and off. Uh, but that, you know, just kind of grabs a bar like that, and then you just use the wing nut again to tighten it down and attach your components that way. They've got um, different types of, of cradles. So this is their X-Grip cradle. Uh, this is what I'm using for my tablet, and it's spring-loaded, and it's a, it's a pretty stiff spring. It, so it grabs, grabs your device pretty tight. Um, but then in, with this particular cradle, they actually give you a rubber sling that goes with it. This basically goes on back like this. And then when you put your tablet in, basically you just drop it in like that. And so now it's already holding pretty good. But then they, with the sling, you can actually use this to, to wrap the corners of the tablet in. So basically goes like this. Around that corner. And then that side. And so it creates this web of, of a giant rubber band basically holding the, the tablet in place. And then this thing will not go anywhere. In fact, I when I, I took this out yesterday, and I'll show you some footage from that ride yesterday, um, I actually forgot to, to attach the, the rubber sling, and this thing stayed solid even on, uh, you know, going off-road on, on the trail. So um, this thing worked really, really well uh, for the ride video. So let me let me actually show you a clip from the ride video so you can see how, how stable this, this entire platform was uh, as we're riding on the trail. And I was using the suction cup mount um, on on my side by side, and you know I honestly I wasn't sure if it was going to hold on some of the trails or not, but I mean this thing just bonded right to the the surface and it never broke loose, it never gave me any problems. The entire tablet was was very very stable on the ride. So let me show you some of that footage right now, and uh, you can see for yourself. So here's a new setup. We've got the RAM mount um, right back there with the tablet clamped in. We've got the radio just below it. Uh, so we uh, should be able to check this out and see how well it does today.
Okay, so as you saw in the footage, um, everything was just really, really stable, rock solid. Uh, you know, I definitely am pleased with this setup. Um, everything uh, worked really, really well. Um, you can see, you know, that everything sits very tightly and cleanly in place. Um, you know, very, very happy with it. Some of the concerns I've got, um, and there really aren't many, was um, when I attach this base, this ball joint um, to the base, you basically use a couple of wood screws um, to secure it. And this is plastic, and so one of them secured in just fine and tightened down, no problem. But the other one was kind of stripped out, and so I could never get this screw to tighten down. Uh, so what I ended up doing is just shooting some super glue down into the into the hole, and then securing it down. And now it's on there, really snug. It's not going anywhere. So I don't have any, you know, concerns about it breaking loose. But I would have preferred something a, a different mechanism for securing the this base, uh, just to you know make it a little more solid, give me a little more confidence. But um, overall you know it, it, it worked beautifully on the trail so um, the other concern was really my doing not necessarily a problem with the mount and that's because uh, when I used the when I mounted it I used the shorter arm because I didn't want it to uh, stick too far out um, and that created a, a challenge a clearance issue between the tablet and my hand on the shifter so um, you know that would have been alleviated had I used a longer arm but you know overall it worked great but you know I'm probably gonna end up uh, relocating it and use the roll bar mount um, and and try and move it higher up and and see if I can mount it there a little bit more out of the way than than in front of the intercom and, and radio so um, you know there you go there's there's a, a quick review of and walkthrough of the uh, ram mount system um, overall definitely give it a thumbs up it held beautifully on the trail um, you know it's a little bit on the pricey side but uh, you know at, at sixty dollars for you know just your base mount which is basically this setup right here um, plus taxes and everything but you know I think it was worth the money uh, because it, it it was it was awesome having the the tablet on the trail with me and being able to you know do all my GPS mapping and all that kind of stuff and you know having it there with me and being held knowing it's it's securely in place was was perfect so um, there you go thanks for uh, you know stop in if you got any questions comments around you know the ram mount system please leave them below I'll get to those as quickly as I can if you have experience with this you know tips and things like that please comment and share um, you know I think other viewers would love to hear you know what other people's experiences are if you have a different mounting solution that you like um, please share that as well because I'm always on the lookout for you know uh, different ideas on how to you know mount cameras and and all that kind of stuff uh, to the side-by-side -side when we go out riding so uh, you know please you know let, let me know your thoughts um, thanks for stopping in thanks for watching and uh, you know we'll uh, see you on the trail